Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could look at a specific option and then analyze that option's implied volatility rank. And we'll use Citigroup in this example. I'm going to go down to the options chain and I selected August 18th expiration over here. And when we did that, we got the options chain for August 18th uh, expiration in Citigroup. And we could see here four trading days to go. When we look at the options chain, we see the different prices for the calls, different prices for the puts, and the different strikes. And if you notice, here are the implied volatilities never next to the bid and implied volatilities next to the ask. And every option every price has a different implied volatility, right? And if we go to a different expiration, those options will also have their own unique implied volatilities when you run the option pricing model. So the question then becomes, if we're looking at a particular option, let's say over here in Citigroup, we'll take the 44 and a half call. If we're looking at this particular option, we see that the implied volatility in the bid now is 19.3 in the ask 19.8. And the question is, how does that implied volatility compare to historical implied volatility in a similar option? In other words, how, how often is the implied volatility below this level? How often is, is it above this level? What is the average implied volatility? What is the median implied volatility for an option that looks similar to this historically? In other words, four trading days to go and 0.9% or 1% above the spot price. Okay, because if we look at an option that has 20 days to go and it's 10% below the strike price, well, that's comparing apples and oranges. What we want to do is compare apples to apples. And here is the IV percentile rank. This is telling us, based on our history, if we look at our database and find a similar option, that 31% of the implied volatilities were below the current level and the rest above. So let's click on that and take a look. So when I click on it, I get more details on the implied volatility, see past observations with call options, four days to expiration, about 1% away from the spot price. And you could see here, these are all the observations. So you could hover over them on the date, what the implied volatility was, and you see that it's going back to 2017. You can narrow this if you want, you could narrow this uh, going closer to today or back. But let's just stay on here and let's see the other summary stats. So this is the current situation. This option is 19.3 volatility bid, 19.8 volatility offer. And the midpoint of that is in the 31 percentile rank. So you can see this red line here. This is where we currently are, the red line. So you can see that these dots represent the observations and 31% of them historically were below that red line. The rest were above. We also see that the average implied volatility, we took the average of all of these, was 27.6. So that's pretty, it's, a, it's pretty significantly higher than we are right now at around 19.6. The medium vol, that's the implied volatility right in the middle is 24.1. Again, that's higher than we are right now. See, because we're in the 31st percentile rank. And the lowest observation was 13.1. The highest was 160.2. That's kind of right up here during COVID. So now we were able to answer a few important questions. Uh, given the implied volatility in this particular option, we see that 31% of the historical observations in a similar option were below this level, and the average was 
the median was 24.1. And if we wanted to take the range between the low and high, it was 13.1 to 160.2. And that's really quickly how you could take an implied volatility for a particular option and look back in history to get the IV percentile rank, the average median and range. Hope everyone this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.